Hey, Draymond. Uh, I'm talk, talking about another guy you were there with as a rookie, maybe in a different situation. Kent Bazemore actually was a rookie when you were coming in the league. He sometimes now he's back. He's in his 30s, but doesn't sometimes he plays like he's young, but sometimes he plays like a veteran. How, how would you describe maybe Bazemore's development and what you've seen as a rookie and what do you see out of him now? I think, um, you know, what you saw as a rookie is a young kid coming out of Old Domain who's all over the floor, uh, more so defensively than anything. Um, you know, I remember him coming to Summer League with us and. I think the first first game we played Summerlin, he might have six blocks or something like that. And right there was kind of where he where he announced himself, you know, what he could bring to a team. And that's why he made the team. Uh, you know, it was defensively. He worked a lot with Joe, Bo- Joe Boylan that year over those next couple of seasons. And he really improved his offensive game a lot. But coming in, it wasn't much there. Like it was, you know, he obviously – you know, play well at Old Dominion, but it wasn't much there coming in to that summer league. And he he just worked, worked, worked. Him and Joe Boylan would be on the court, um, you know, two hours before practice, working nonstop. An hour after practice, working nonstop. And then, he, you know, he got traded to the Lakers, uh, made the best of that opportunity, and then went to Atlanta, where he really uh, found a home, uh, found a role, created, carved out a role, and they had a lot of success. Um, you know, to see Bays come back here uh, now, nine years in, uh, number one for a guy, undrafted guy who was uh, who was ranked the 499th best player out of 500, to still be in the league after nine years, number one, is an accomplishment in itself. Uh, but – you know, he continued to put the work in, and now you see him today. He's one of those guys, you know, those veterans that, you know, is out there on the floor for us. And I think the one thing that has not wavered is how he's a wrecking ball on the defensive side of the ball. And, um, you know, he was that same wrecking ball when he came into the league. He's that same wrecking ball now. Maybe with a, you know, added a few more nuances, you know, a few more tricks to the trade. Um you know, that he's picked up over the years. But that same energy and intensity that he came into that first summer league game with, I think he was coming to Vegas from Miami. I mean, from Orlando and was playing with Miami, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, that same intensity that he brought on the defensive end, then he still brings to that. And and obviously a much better offensive player. So what he's brought to this team this year has been great. And you know, it continues to get better as he finds more and more comfort in what the system is today as opposed to when he was here. I think he still – I'm, I'm sorry, I still, I still think he, he leads you guys in, in cumulative plus minus this season. Is that something you're aware of or do you just know, like, hey, baseball's in the game, you tend – the lead tends to expand? Uh, I didn't know that. Um, but it does not shock me because when he is in the game, good things happen, you know, and – you know, he really just understands spacing, um, you know, on the offensive side of the ball, make th- make good things happen. Um, and then, like I said, on the defensive side of the ball, you know, the, the pressure that he puts on the, on the usually the other team's best best player, especially best guard or, or wing, um, you know, that, that helps make a lot of difference for us.